previously at Chikara. Right before a rematch with Frightmare for the Young Lions Cup, Lince Dorado was concerned that the perfect 10 had been looking like an absolute zero in his last few matches. You ready for tonight, Lince? That's right. The I Lions know you are. Ready for that W? That's ready right. for that big win? Oh, yeah. Have your raised hand in the air like that? With the, the cup, cup, baby. In your hand, be oh, the yeah. second best champion of all time? The I know Lions you cup. are. And I'm sure you've heard the rumors about the BDK being a little bit uneasy about... Whoa. What are you talking... <laughs> Don't worry about Lince. I got your back. You got the greatest young Lions Cup champion of all time in your corner. Right. You don't have to worry about all that stuff, huh? I got your back. But a loss at referee Derek Sabato's hand, no less, showed that Timothy Donst primarily looks out for Timothy Donst. A lot of people seem to think, Hollow Wicked, that you're the best young Lions Cup champion of all time. And maybe you were, but then I have. Then I won the Young Lions Cup, and instantly like that, I jumped over that bar and I became the greatest Young Lions Cup champion Jakara has ever seen. And on my quest to prove to everybody that I am in fact the greatest, I took out Stigma and Jigsaw and the Cybernetico, and yesterday in Easton, Golden Dream Tag Match, I took out Eric Cannon and Firehand, also former Young Lions Cup champions. And I would have taken out more Wicked if it wasn't for you. And you're not going to like it when my attention sit on you. Because when I do Wicked, <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Ask your buddy Frightmare. In a moment of rare candidness, Hollow Wicked and Frightmare respond to their opponents especially danced and the BDK. <laughs> Meanwhile, in an attempt to improve Chikara's standards and practices, the board of directors appoints an executive auditor, Wink Vavasur. Immediately, this man shows signs of having a prodigious wrestling acumen that only comes around once in a lifetime. No way! You're Boys, boys, Wink Vavasor, pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you. You know what, I gotta tell you guys, I love what you're doing out there, the Game Boys. The what? Yeah, I want you guys to do one of those uh, things where, you know, you guys got the over here and you're over there. A and match? Yes, a match. I was you know what? Say a I got a, a brain bomb, one might call it. Wow. You guys. 2.0. Right. Agent Zero over here. Yeah. 2.0. Fellas, I got an idea what? for you. Trio, one, two, three. You're two? Let's do three. Jonathan. Jonathan. This is my boy Jonathan Gresham. Huh? I'm standing right in front of you. Huh? You guys? This is Jonathan, what's your? Amasis. Yeah, Amasis and this guy. He's got a snake face. All right. I'll see you guys. What's up? He's not an Egyptian, but there. Yeah. Wink certainly had an eye for talent. Jonathan Gresham was an impressive combination of speed, strength, and strategic sense, fitting in perfectly with the Osirian Portal's eclectic maneuvers and proving pivotal in a win against the BDK hit squad. Could Amasis and Ophidian have found a third teammate? Well, maybe. Tensions were high as Ultramatch's Black finally faced BDK boss Ares. A powder keg was ready to explode. Ultramatch's vowed to tear the house down before he would allow the BDK to take it over. Indeed, he would literally do just that, using Ares as a sledgehammer. But Ares is not one to be handled lightly. Even if Ultramantis equaled Ares in metal, how would he be able to beat the BDK chief and the Brotherhood's engine of decimation, Tursus? Too much was riding on the BDK's defeat. Ultramantis could not falter, even if it meant dealing with the devil for a diabolical weapon. And that was no rhetoric. Ultramantis had indeed made a pact with forces that now had an open portal into Jakara. And he too, found himself just a car in a machine much larger than all of them.